Hello, and welcome to the Florida Knee and Orthopedic Center's online seminar on knee resurfacing. My name is Julie. I'm a registered nurse with a bachelor's degree for 30 plus years, and I work right here with the surgeons. I will also be your host today. Now, I know everyone here is here to learn about knee resurfacing, and I'm going to move over to the other camera to start my presentation. Okay, let's look at the anatomy of the knee. Over here you will see the femur or your thigh bone. The bottom bone is your tibia or your shin bone. In between those two bones you have a dense fibrous cartilage called a meniscus and that's what starts to wear away that causes arthritis. At the bottom of your femur bone you also have another cartilage called articular cartilage. When that starts wearing away and the good news is this will only start wearing away on one side only. That again is what causes arthritis. Now to go over a few other things, you have ligaments in your knee. The ACL that you see sitting in the front is usually what blows out when football players get hit on the side of the knee. And it can be a real problem because the ligaments help keep that joint stable. You also have tendons. Tendons help hold the muscles to the bone. Now another picture that you don't see that's on there are bursa sacs, which are real important to go over. Bursa sacs cover bony prominences in joints. In the knee, you have two on the outside, a few on the inside of the knee, and one on the back. And we'll be going over some more of that information here in a minute. But next I'm going to go over the most four common conditions of the knee starting with osteoarthritis or arthritis. Again, that is when the meniscus wears down, but remember it only wears down on one side, but it becomes bone on bone where your femur and your tibia are now rubbing together. If you let that go once it wears down on one side, you will wear out the other side, but I'll be showing you x-rays of that here in just a little bit. The next thing we're going to go over is tendonitis. Tendonitis is inflammation of the tendons, usually from overuse. Somebody who thinks they're going to start playing 18 holes of golf that have never played before could end up with tendonitis, which is very painful. Or some of you who've been out raking in your yard and your shoulder gets sore, you could get tendonitis also from doing something you're not used to. As we get older, our tendons lose their elasticity, which makes them more prone to injury. Bursitis, the bursa sacs that I talked about that cover bony prominences in your joint, well, there are a few in the knee. In the olden days, bursitis of the knee used to be called housemaid's knee because women were down on their knees scrubbing hard floors all the time. The bursa sacs would become inflamed and boy, is that painful. So you have to be careful. That's why you'll see tile layers, carpet layers, wear the big knee pads. If not, they might be in a constant state of bursitis. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is torn cartilage. Again, that is the cartilage called the meniscus that you see in the picture. What happens is you usually will fall or it's caused from an injury and sometimes it can nick or tear just from a special movement of your knee. And that's treated completely different than arthritis. They usually go in on an outpatient procedure called arthroscopy, trim it up, flush it out with saline and send you home. 50% of people do very well with this. So now that you know the most common conditions of the knee, the most important thing that you see is getting a good diagnosis. And that's where our surgeons can help. They are the knee experts. People always will ask, well, what do your surgeons do when we come in for an expert opinion or an evaluation? Well, we're going to go over that. And those of you who have already had a diagnosis by another doctor, it's important, especially with me being a nurse for so long, to get another opinion. Remember, you're not coming in for surgery, you're coming in to find out exactly what's causing the pain in your knee. And then you go home and you make the decision that's best for you. But let's go over exactly what the doctors do when you come in. The first thing the doctor's going to do is find out what happened. Did you fall to injure your knee or has it been coming on gradually? What's the pain like? Is it sharp, burning, stabbing? Is it intermittent? Is it constant? 
Some people can climb upstairs, but they sure can't climb down. Or it might be just the opposite. But they're going to be going over all that information with you just to find out what happened. The next thing they're going to do is take an x-ray of your knee. Now, if you've had x-rays taken in the last three months, go ahead and bring them in. But make sure you bring in the actual x-ray. They do not want the written report. They do not want to take someone else's word for it. They want to see them themselves. Let's take a look at that x-ray. Now, you might recognize your knee if you were shown your x-ray through another doctor that you've already seen. The fabulous thing about our doctors, I know I'm a show me person, and you probably are too. I want to see exactly what that x-ray looks like. You're going to get the expert opinion, but let's take a look. You'll see here where it's only touching on one side. That is arthritis. That is when you're bone on bone. The meniscus has worn out, and now it's rubbing on one side of that knee. The other picture you see, it's completely gone on both sides. Once your arthritis starts on one side, if you let it go, you will end up with that meniscus worn on both sides of the knee. In the first picture that you see, that is a normal knee. You see all that black between the two bones? That's your meniscus. So your knee is going to look like one of these two pictures if you have arthritis. It'll be worn on the inside or the outside of the knee, only on one side, or if you've let it go long enough, you've worn out both sides. So they're going to be going over that x-ray with you. And the next thing they're going to do is a physical exam. They'll move your leg or your knee a certain way and move it there. There are certain tests that they do with your knee and your leg. And you're going to say, yeah, doc, that's the spot. They know, and you're going to walk out with your customized expert opinion and diagnosis and your options. Well, let's talk about those options. Remember on the x-ray screen where you've waited long enough and now you've worn both sides of that meniscus out? What we do for that is a full knee resurfacing. And I don't want anyone to get confused at this time. Our full knee resurfacing takes the place of a total knee replacement. And this is going to be interesting for you to hear about. It's less invasive and there's less recovery time. So if you've had a doctor say you need a total knee replacement, then this would be something that you'll be interested to hear. There is a picture of our full knee replacement. And here's the x-ray again. You can see it's worn out on both sides. Let's talk about our full knee resurfacing. Here's the piece you can see that it's a resurfacing piece. But before I talk about this in full, the best way I like to describe this is like a cap on a tooth. Now we're talking knee surgery, folks. We're not talking about dental work. But you know how they'll go in and they'll drill your tooth and then they put the bone cement inside the cap and push the cap up over the tooth? Well, this is like the cap for your bone. This sits on the bottom of the femur. You can see the two little spiky pieces on the inside. They have to go in and resurface the bottom of that femur. It's jagged and edged and probably throwing off bone spurs. So that's what they do. They put the bone cement in and on the bottom of the femur it sits. Now the next piece that you have to learn about is the meniscus. Now remember the reason you have arthritis in the first place is because that meniscus wore out. They have to replace that. And this is that piece. You can see there, this is high impact plastic that takes that piece. And this is how it articulates once it's in the knee. You can also see that in the x-ray. These are the actual pieces. Let's talk about the surgery for our full knee resurfacing. It's about a 45, 55 minute surgery. It's a four inch, four inch incision if you have a normal size knee. If you have a larger knee, it might be a five or six inch incision, which is still very small. We do not use any sutures or staples. We do a plastic surgeon's closure. What that is, is dissolvable sutures on the inside of that incision, covered with very small paper steri strips. And the reason we do that, when it's healed, it heals very, very faint, and it's a very fine line. 
I know here in Florida, we like to wear shorts and everybody will be able to wear shorts after they would have this done. Now you don't have to give any blood with this because you don't lose any. We get you up and walk you the very next day after surgery. You're in the hospital about three days and then you go home. You do not go to a rehab center slash nursing home. You go to the comforts of your own home. We send a nurse in two to three times to check on you, go over any questions that you might have, and we teach you the exercises to do while you're in the hospital. We send you home with the DVD and a booklet, whichever it's easiest for you to use, and it tells you exactly what exercises to do and how often to do them. And it's not hard. Recovery time with our full knee resurfacing is six to eight weeks. If for some reason two weeks after surgery you feel that you need some help with a physical therapist, you give us a call and we'll send one in. That is not a problem. Most people don't, but we want to make sure that you know that you will have the help should you need one. So let's talk about our partial knee resurfacing. Here's the piece that we use. Now I know it's very hard to see, but that's the whole point. You're only, you only have to resurface the side that's touching that's caused the arthritis, as you can see on x-ray, rather it be on the inside or the outside of your knee. You can see the little spiky piece that's used. Now you have to replace the cartilage that wore out. That's what's caused the arthritis in the first place. And here's the cartilage piece. You can see this. Now there's a little tray that it sits on, and this is how it articulates. Let's talk about the surgery. It's about a 45 minute surgery. This is only a three to four inch incision. No sutures, no staples. We do a plastic surgeon closure. You don't give any blood with this either because you don't lose any. We get you up and walk you three to four hours after surgery and then you go home. You can go home the same day. If you live within 60 miles of the hospital, you may go home or you might wanna spend the night. Either way, it's only a one day surgery. You go home the next day. Again, we teach you all the exercises to do in the hospital. We send you home with the DVD and a booklet and the exercises are easy, folks. You don't have to worry about it. If you should need some help, please call us. 99% of people don't because the exercises are easy. Recovery time with our partial knee resurfacing is four to six weeks, and then you should be able to move on and get on with your daily life. Let's meet the doctors. There are three surgeons that do this surgery, and the first one we're gonna talk about is Dr. Hader. The second doctor is Dr. Amundry, and the third is Dr. Donnelly. Dr. Donnelly is also our spine surgeon. All three of them are experts in the knee, and you could go over their bios and see who you're most comfortable with, or please feel free to type any questions or call us up and ask us. You would schedule your appointment at our Palm Harbor or our Clearwater office. Those numbers and directions will be available to you at the end of this online seminar, but you would pick which surgeon you feel most comfortable with, and that's who you would see for your evaluation. It's also important for me to tell you at this time, we have no PAs. At this time, when you come in, you get to see the doctor, and the doctor follows your care from the beginning until the very end. So where do we do the surgery? We only do the surgery at Largo Medical Center, and there are multiple reasons why. The first one is they've given us the whole fifth floor and part of the fourth floor dedicated just to the Florida Knee and Orthopedic Center. It's been totally remodeled. It looks more like a hotel than a hospital. But don't let that fool you. It's a 450 bed hospital and anything you need will be there. The rooms are bigger and private because your partner comes and stays right with you in the room. We have a buffet where you and your partner can go pick the food that you like and we move the desserts further and further every day. No, I'm just kidding, we really don't. But there's also a beautiful piano bar there and the, both of those operating rooms are right there on the fifth floor, which is really important, especially to me being a nurse for over 30 years. As you can see, that helps keep our infection rate down because the only surgeries going on in those operating rooms are mainly knees and hips and some shoulders. There are no bowel, bladder, or wound care surgeries. You can kind of get the point with that. 
Now, some other people also know surgeons that have privileges at two or three different hospitals. Ours won't do that. Their expert team is right there, from the anesthesiologist to the recovery room nurses to the nurses that are trained right on the floor. They want to make sure that you get the care exactly how they want you to have it. Okay, so some of you might be asking, does insurance pay for this? Well, the evaluation to come in to see the doctor for an expert opinion and the surgeries are Medicare approved. That means your supplement will pick up the other 20%. Almost all HMOs and PPOs accept this. They really like this because there's less recovery time. And let's not forget, you're not going into a nursing home slash rehab center. You're going home to the comforts of your own home. So if you have any questions about the insurance, please type it in your box and we'll be more than happy to answer that for you. Now, Medicare said that they would not pay for people to go into the hospital the day before surgery anymore. Largo Medical Center has a service where they pick you up right at your door the afternoon before your surgery. They drive you to the hospital, you and your partner. They get you checked in and you go to dinner. When you're ready to come home, they bring you and your partner home. There is a small fee for this. We do this 150 miles around that hospital, as far north to Gainesville and south to Fort Myers, east to Orlando. The fee for that runs around $180, and that's the furthest points. So if you live closer than Orlando, Fort Myers, or Gainesville, it's going to be a lot less. It's an option that you can use. You certainly don't have to use this service, but we want to make sure the people that need surgery that can't drive are able to get there to have this done. I hope you enjoyed the online seminar, and hopefully it gives you a better understanding of our full and partial knee resurfacing. Those of you who would like to make an appointment, on the screen next to me, we have our 1-800 number and also our website. Please feel free to call in, and I do encourage you to do so. We fill up fast. People fly in from all over the nation to see our doctors. So please call our 1-800 number or go to our website to make an appointment. We also have a free x-ray evaluation that's available to you. All you need to do is go on to our website, which is www.floridafla-ortho.com and click on free x-ray evaluation. And thank you so much for watching the Florida Knee and Orthopedic Center's online seminar on knee resurfacing.